So I actually never made a setup guide video for what I run in the mist. I'm going to do it real quick and then hop into the mist. So firstly, I would recommend fame farming a lot and then think about doing PvP in the mist. Even my IP right now is pretty low. So usually I run 6.1 on my gear and around 1400 IP. All of my items are 1400 except my hunter hood. It's really close. This is 1438. So firstly what you want to do is get a hundred spec in the main, in your main uh, weapon. So hundred in, on the axe, hundred on the leather jacket, hundred on soldier boots, hundred on a hunter hood. And then you're going to want to get 50 spec in every item that boosts your main weapon or gear. So what I'm basically saying is if you, for example, your axe or battle axe has a Great Axe, Halberd, and all of these other weapons, these also boost your IP. So this one boosts it by 0.2, the Halberd boosts it by 0.2, and then this one boosts it by only 0.1, and this is per level 0.1. Bear Paws 0.1, this is also 0.1. So you're, you're gonna wanna uh, basically boost the Great Axe and the Halberd the most. So get like 50 spec, 70 spec, whatever in these and then worry about these four of these later and then the last thing you want to do is uh, get at least 100 to 110 spec on your um, main weapon so i have 114 here 112 here 114 111 i say the 110 is like the minimum and then you're going to be pretty close to 1400 ip after you get 1400 ip you're still going to want to fame farm and try to boost it until you get max IP because it is very useful. If you really want to just PvP, I'd say get a hundred spec on your main weapons and then use a 5.1 setup and just start ratting in the mist. But I would say the smartest thing is to just grind Avalonian roads or open world black zone mobs and get your spec to 120 and then start PvPing because then the fights are going to be really easy. For offhand, you can get 120 spec really easy because the cost, the cost to uh, spec it up is very, very cheap. So I would do that first as well. Now for the setup, I, I am using Hunter Hood, Assassin Jacket, Axe, Soldier Boots, and Torch. And for food is Eel Stew for damage and cooldown, healing for healing, and then cabbage to cabbage to to um, heal up health reg regen just fast like if you're losing in a fight you can reset you pop your cabbage to and then heal up really quickly uh, now for the setup you're gonna need tier 6 axe every time just for this spell it's like the best q spell you need this it hits the uh, opponent three times and then it erodes them for around two seconds you can usually do this into e which does a lot for the w you you're gonna always want to use this one for mobility if you're let's say if you're running merc jacket this one might be a bit better to brawl with but usually in the mist this is just way better for mobility for passives i use uh this for pve it's it's really good in pve but for pvp i don't really know you could use most of these maybe this just for defensive resistance uh, after every five attacks is pretty good but you could use whatever to be honest for hunter hood you're gonna want third pass or first passive and reflect and now for assassin jacket you can first passive of course and then invis or for 1v1s i would usually recommend this inferno shield it's really good but usually in the mist you're gonna need invis because you're gonna be fighting more than one person and there's all these rats so using this invis can really save you a lot of times but if you're just one v running usually you can just use this it's, it's really good for one v ones reflecting damage but for i think pure staffs i think invis is just better because if you use invis they can't e you so i would use that when they're trying to e and just finish them off for pure staffs i think this is pretty good of course, boots, second passive, rejuvenating sprint. 
or Torch for an offhand, you can either use Muzak, Torch, or I believe it's called uh, Miscaller. Miscaller would be the best for this setup, but if you're broke like me, then just use Torch. If you have a lot of money, it just depends. You could use Miscaller or Muzak. Muzak gives you high damage, but higher cooldowns, which isn't that good. And Miss Collar gives you very low cooldowns, which is really good for your E and your W. And it's just really good. So if you have a lot of money, I would just recommend Miss Collar. But it just depends. It really just depends on your playstyle. For Cape, I use regular Cape because yeah, I'm broke. But you could use Deadford, Avalonian, or Undead. If you have a decent amount of money, I would use Avalonian. For Undead, I would only use it if you have a very expensive setup. So if you're running 7.3, 6.3, I wouldn't run Hunter, Hood, and Assassin Jack. I would probably run Fiend, Cow, and Mistwalker Jacket these items are pretty expensive so i wouldn't use them unless i'm running a very very uh, expensive setup so I, if you're using undead cape i would probably use this because it's just way better this gives you immunity the fiend cowl gives you the purge which is really good and then undead cape for the invis the invis is really good on this other than that i wouldn't use any of this in the 4.1 4 5.1 it's not really that worth it you're just gonna uh, lose a lot of money if you die so i think that's pretty much it i'll make a video later on how to play meta matchups on the battle axe and i'll upload that soon okay we're gonna rat this bear paw and i think 7.1 great hammer he stole my loot let's kill him then He does have mobility, but I think I should be able to kill him. We got a rat over here. I missed my second E. We can W. Just gotta finish him off now. The guy's gonna try to rat me, but we should be fine. I think he's like six, six flat. The, the rat. We can also invis, so it's fine. Let's finish this guy off though, before he heals up. E kills. Okay, let's see. 1.13 million. It's pretty good. We're gonna invis now. We should be able to run away. Yeah, it's fine. He's running now. We're gonna leave him alone though. Yeah, he has shitty gear. And there's another rat, so. A seven flat first. And we have a blood letter here too. It's all the rats. Let's see if he can get away from this guy. It's five seconds for invis. We're gonna invis and hopefully get away. Okay, we're gonna see what these guys are doing. There's a guy over there. He's 5.1, we should be able to kill him. Oh, but the fire staff is gonna rat me. We're gonna kill the dual swords and then run away and then loot him later. He's dead, but we're gonna run away for now. We're gonna invis. We don't we don't need to invis, we can just mount up. We gotta wait for our sprint and then we can mount up. We're gonna sprint and then mount up and then go get my loot.
Okay, so this guy had around 200k. Let's see what this... Oh, so close. Okay, we're gonna fight this battle axe. Six flat, I think. There's a bunch of rats here, though. So we're gonna try to kill him. And then maybe invis and then come back and loot him. Hopefully we can kill him. <sighs> Gotta wait for my cooldowns. And the blood letter's not gonna attack me. There's always a blood letter a rat in the in your mist. He's almost dead. He uses Hunter Herd at the wrong time. Let's see if I can get the kill. Okay, I got the kill. This guy invis. DBS is gonna try to rat me. We're gonna invis. And hopefully get the loot. Yeah, we, yeah, we got the loot. Okay, there's a 6.2 cursed here. I'm 6.1 right now, so... He could kill me. We're gonna play it safe then. We're gonna just kite him maybe. Maybe go in for the kill after he's low. It's gonna be hard though. Missed that axe there. We, we're gonna end this so you can't eat us. Got an axe there. He's at like, almost half health. Less than half health. We can eat him again. Oh, we missed. He missed his too, so it's fine. If you run into him, he's just gonna pop his hood and then eat us. Guardian helmet, I think he has. He's gonna use that and then this E us. His E is gonna do a lot too. He just blocked his my E with his guardian helmet. Uh, we can't just engage him. We're gonna die if, if we get a three stack E. Okay, we got 400 damage there. We have our invis too, so we should be able to dodge his E. Uh, he uses Guardian again. We're gonna have to invis. His Guardian is annoying, bro. We can E him here, I think. Yeah, it's a free E. Oh, we walked into that W. That was stupid. You can eat him again, I think. Oh, he's trying to dodge it. We're at around the same health, but... Okay, I got him with the E. He's at 1300. He uses health pot. We almost have our invis, then we can kind of engage him. He misses W, so we're gonna engage. Oh, he, we're gonna invis now because he uses uh, cleric rope. See if you can get an E here. Oh, he missed. Oh, that did a lot. We're gonna have to run. His E did a lot, but we got him with the axe, so. He's around, he's pretty low as well. But we gotta wait for our cooldowns anyway, so. We're gonna run for now. There's a guy right there too. He might try to rat us. So. Uh, this guy's gonna try to rat us. Oh, I got cooldown for the cabbage soup. This guy might kill me here. We can W soon. We can W now. He missed his W. We can invis right now, I think. Yep, invis. We're gonna invis pop our health pot and then W. We can W now. 
Okay, so the Kristoff dismounted. So they're gonna fight each other right now. We're gonna pop our cabbage to too, and then heal up and then go f go rat them, I guess. Six point two first. Yeah, they're fighting each other. Should be able to rat them easily. Gotta wait for cooldowns. Yeah, but they're basically dead. I, I think I can kill both. The dagger is pretty high in health though, so we're gonna focus on him. Let's see if you can kill the first. Okay, he killed him. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so the crest had 836. Let's check the dagger. 760, so that's like 1.6 million. Pretty good.